Hi, Innocence Miracle here, and welcome to Chess with Dutch. Today, we'll be continuing the series on how to play chess. And for this video, we will be focusing on the chess pieces and how they move. Without further ado, let's get started. The first chess piece we're going to talk about is the king. The king is the most important piece in a chess game. It's as simple as losing your king, you're losing the game. As most times the game is centered around the king. So the king can move in any direction. The king can move in any direction one square at a time. As far as it is not being blocked by another piece. As we know, the chess game is a board game between two sides. So you can have only you can only have a maximum of two kings in a chess game. One for the black and one for the white. This black king can move as it is as as it is in the edge is at the edge of the board, can move in one, two, three, four, four and five different positions, but they can only move one square at a time. This king can only move one square at a time. So is this. Now it can move now it can move in eight different directions because there are more space for it and it is there is no piece obstructing it. So the next piece also we're going to talk about is the queen. The next piece we're talking about is the queen. The queen is the most powerful piece in a chess game as it can move in any direction vertically horizontally and even diagonally as far as there is no piece standing in his way now for instance um let's take a look at the black queen this black queen can go all the way down as there is no piece obstructing it can also go all the way down here can go here but it cannot go more than here because there is if there's a piece here that is stopping it but if this black king was supposed to were at the edge of the board or somewhere else the queen can move down but the queen cannot go over this chess piece here that cannot go over the, the king the queen can also move down here can also move down here and diagonally can go diagonally this way diagonally this way so most often than not the most often than not the chess Piece, the queen is the is a very important um, is a very important piece and it's usually one usually brought out in the game when you've developed we're going to look all, into all of that in subsequent videos the next chess pieces to consider are the rooks they are very simple they are very simple movements and they more or less look like castles um, they move vertically and horizontally in any direction as far as there is nothing there is no piece standing in their way they move vertically and horizontally in any square in any direction as far as there is nothing standing in their way this rook here can move all the way down this rook here can move all the way down but as you can notice the rook cannot move towards the king and cannot neither can they move over the king as the, but the rooks can only move um, vertically and horizontally as far as there is nothing no other piece that is obstructing them so this rook can move way down here this one also can move way down here as as you can see vertically and horizontally so that's all for the rook now for each game you start with two rooks on each side for each game you start with two rooks on each side the next piece on the list uh, the bishop the bishops move diagonally in any length and any direction as far as there is no piece as usual interfering as you can notice most of this all of these pieces we've talked about so far cannot jump over any piece so is the bishop the bishop can move diagonally can move all the way down here all the way all the way all the way down here but when he got, gets towards this king he can no longer go beyond the king. He, has, he cannot jump over the king. He has to land before the king. So if I want to move this bishop, I can move it this way. Yeah, I can move it this way. I can also move it this far 
and uh, move it this far also move it anywhere any direction um as we notice um the bishops unlike other pieces cannot change the color of the square that they started on now this bishop started on a dark square it cannot go to a light square and this one is on a light square it cannot also go to a dark square um so usually bishop pairs that's how we usually have the bishop pair they complement each other's weakness in some games the bishop in most games the bishop pair are usually very effective finally we save the tricky knights for the last um the knight do not move with the same conventional ways or the other pieces do and they are the only piece that can jump over other piece in a chess game um the sim the simplest way you can learn the movement of the knight is they move in an l direction in an l way that is they move two squares they move two squares horizontally and one square vertically two squares horizontally and one square vertically or they can move two squares vertically and one square horizontally it's not difficult to two squares vertically and one square horizontally now you see all of these dots that has been highlighted is the possible places that this knight can go they move in an l way um so you can see they can the knights can move in an l direction and also these other knights um the another way that you can also learn the movement of the knight is you can say they combine the movement of the rook and the knight they move like a rook in one direction in one step and like bishop in another square you know rooks move vertically and, and horizontally while bishops move diagonally so they have the rooks they have the rooks movement in, with one square and the bishops movement in another square whichever whichever way you find it easy but the simple i think the simplest of ways just know it moves in an l direction yeah it goes okay yeah one square for for the rook and one square for the bishop one square for the rook and one square for the bishop and it's also to it's also what you know that if a knight starts on a light square it has to always it always ends on a dark square and if a knight starts on a dark square it always lands on a white square as you can see how they are moving so to summarize the whole thing that we've learned so far we say the king is the most important piece in the game and so it has to be protected at all times and we say that they move one square at a time in any direction then the queen we said is the most important piece on the chess board can move in any that any number of squares vertically horizontally and even diagonally the rooks however will look that looks like the castle can move in any number of squares vertically or horizontally and the bishops can move diagonally all of these pieces however cannot jump over in any piece they cannot jump over other pieces but this is where the knight comes in the knight uh, has the tricky movement can uh, jump over um, other pieces and also the Alex like said they move in an L direction so that's it for this video the next video will cover the arrangement of the chess pieces on the chessboard and their point values if you have any question do well to drop it in the comment section below and also like and subscribe for more amazing content and see you in the next video check